Hi, I'm Karen from MongoDB, and welcome to this demonstration of the Atlas Search Soccer application. This is my tribute to all things soccer and Atlas Search. When my friends and family talk soccer, they say words like Stesne, Obamayang, Mike Tarion, and unless he plays for Ted Lasso, I really have no idea who they're talking about. Plus, these names are so hard to spell. How can I possibly Google them to fake even the most casual of knowledge? Well, now I can. With a data set of 20,000 soccer players on a free Atlas cluster and the ease of Atlas search, I can quickly find the best soccer players in the world with the hardest to spell names. In this demo, I'll teach you how to quickly build out the most complicated fine-grained searches. We'll start by looking at just a few different Atlas search operators, text, autocomplete, wildcard, to look across string data, to find your favorite players based on relevance-based scoring. If you have trouble finding the right guy, we'll layer in more and more search parameters across a variety of different data types. Pick by country, team, position, and skill level. This interactive application allows you to enter search terms and click on various UI elements while showing you how to build out the back-end MongoDB search query. And once you find the player you're looking for, Send them onto the pitch with a simple click to build out your own soccer dream team. Ready? Let's kick this off by finding my favorite player, Mbappe. We found Mbappe right off the bat by executing the search query previewed here on the right. You see we use the text operator to query for Mbappe in the name long field of my data. Mbappe is actually spelled with an accent on the E at the end, but because I added this fuzzy option, my search query forgives me for any misspellings or typos. Notice here in the results a few things. These red badges show the relevance-based score calculated by Atlas Search. Relevance is a measure of how well our query matches the player documents. And Atlas Search returns the matching documents with a score in descending order. So we get the highest scores and therefore the best matches first, in Bobby in this case. Scoring is so important in search because it's the whole reason your users are getting their results in this order. So for our second player, let's try another popular player, Ronaldo. So you see it's a very common name. So here with the text operator, I get pages of results, but we all know the Ronaldo we want for our dream team and we don't want to have to scroll to find him. Atlas Search gives me the capability to influence the score and therefore the order of my search results with a custom score modifier. This overall score on the player card is the rating of the player's overall skills. I can apply a mathematical formula to our search score with the value of this data field. And so by clicking on the function score button, I've added this overall score to the search score and therefore changed the order of my results. Check out the code here in my search stage. So now the Ronaldo has moved to the top of the list where he belongs. For a third player, let's try the autocomplete operator to look for this French player, Antoine Griezmann, I think. I always get confused if it's spelled with an I, E, or E, I. Um, and autocomplete is another great way to help our users find names that they're unsure of. So notice in the code preview that autocomplete is a different operator. Plus, I'm using a different index definition along with our old friend, Fuzzy. And now for our last position, let's move to the back of the field where the pressure is really on. There's this player I've heard of named um, Charla Sianju, Sianja. Now I really have no idea how to spell that. Maybe there's an S and a Y. So let's use a different operator, wildcard, with an asterisk replacing the characters or character that I'm unsure of. So with these results, I, I still wouldn't be able to recognize his name. So I'll open advanced scouting to look across more parameters. I know he plays center back and I know he's pretty good. So I'll look across the overall field. And so now I'm searching across numbers as well. And each of these new search parameters add what I call a search building block, which I can combine in my dollar search stage using the compound operator. I still get lots of results, but I can easily hone in on my guy with the help of these nifty facets. These give me an overall view of how my footballers are distributed across different countries and teams. 
Seeing this reminds me that Charlar is actually Turkish. And presto, got him. The code for finding facets and counts usually uses a different stage than dollar search. It uses dollar search meta, and you can find the code for that here. So the code for this is similar to our dollar search stage. It uses the same compound object, but it has facets below and it uses a different index. So now our Atlas Search Soccer Dream Team is complete, but go ahead and kick around with it on your own. Relegate players with a click and rebuild your team as you experiment. If you don't know the player names, no problem. Go ahead and look by country, age, skill level. How many players are rated above 90? Not many. Want to find the top players from Brazil? Team up filters and function scoring to find Neymar. I'm including the link for the Git repo in the description as well, so you can play around with this app on your own turf. So go ahead, give it a shot, and you'll be an Atlas Search Pro in no time.